peace and welcome to another episode of growing your own food i realize i've never took you guys through um the books that i have related to planting and the other books that i feel are related that are deeply interconnected are books that talk about um you know basically how to cook food cook the the fruits and vegetables, and also books that deal with healing the body with food. So let's jump right into it. All right, I got a few Johnny C catalogs up here, and I have them because they're free. Now, don't don't underestimate the power of a Johnny C catalog because you can learn a lot. If you're just jumping on the scene, this is something great for you to get. Not only to help you um, gaining under- gaining understanding of the different varieties of crop and plants, but they also have tips, um, products, and they have. Options of buying hybrids and not hybrids. And I like to use it as a good educational material. Just really learning a lot of the fruits and vegetables. All your different varieties of um, pumpkin and tomatoes and carrots and squashes and peppers. Just, you know, a wealth of information in here. If you think outside the box of using it. Got Farmer's Almanacs. Great, great addition um, to my library. And not only that, um, I would recommend anybody get a Farmer's Almanac. Because a Farmer's Almanac has so much in it. Um, Let's just open this one up and show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. If you don't already know. See, they, they already got stuff in here before you even get to the contents. The Country Doctor's Kitchen Hand Kitchen Secrets Handbook. Hmm. You know? So they have everything in here from amusement, astrology, astronomy, anniversaries of I guess different things that have happened over the course of time. Calendar, food, home remedies, gardening, nature, weather. You know, all of that. Maybe having little tidbits of information in here that I found to be extremely helpful. So I like these Farmer's Almanacs. You know? And, um... I think they're a great addition to anyone who is about to start, want to start, or, I mean, you're a full-blown gardener. I think that those almanacs are awesome. Okie dokie, moving right along. Um, between this book and this book, these were like my first two healing books. Um, How to use the plants and things like that. I really like this book, it got a lot of good information. For instance, let me read you one piece of it that um, I love. It's called A Hot and Cold Contrast Bath. Where is it? Is that it? All right, found it. Hot and cold contrast bath. This is one of the easiest and yet most effective water treatments that you can use in your home. The alternating hot and cold dilates and contracts the blood vessels, bringing a fresh ah, why I can't talk today. Bringing a fresh supply of new blood to the area being treated. The blood cells that fight infection, the white blood cells are increased in number and activity and waste products that have collected in the tissues are removed. The healing processes are stimulated and the body is more rapidly restored to a normal condition. 
Infections, sprains, strains, bruises, and arthritis are some of the more common conditions that are greatly benefited by this bath. Contrast baths are used to treat hands, wrists, feet, ankles, and can also be used for the elbows and knees if the container is large enough. So, I did this contrast bath, and boy, let me tell you, <laughs> it's the truth. It really, really helped me, especially when I've trained hard and, um, you know, my muscles have put out a lot. Like, contrast bath with Epsom salt, that's me all day. All right. So, this is the book, Plants That Heal. Before there was drugs, there was nature. Here's the table of contents. And we're going to do like a quick flip through of this book. All the different parts of the apple tree that can be used. Great pictures. Great information. Great diagrams and stuff in here. Pictures, like I said. You know. Moving right along. I have this book that I got from a master gardener. I really don't quite know how to use it. Because I didn't really understand it that much. When I did look at it. Okay, but this is the content. And I haven't really went through it yet. But, excuse me, it's a great, great book. This was a free book that I got from a thrift store that I frequent because they have a book rack. That on that particular rack is just free books. And you know me, me and free. <laughs> we like, we friends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 10,000 Garden Questions. Answered by 20 experts. So, I don't really think this one has a table of contents. They just get right into it. Mm. 101 Natural Secrets to Pest-Free Property. I got this book from the library. They were um getting rid of books. And had this book on the for sale rack, you know, marked down, discounted. I don't even think it was a dollar. So, you know, y'all need books. Go to your local thrift stores and your local libraries. You never know what you can find in there. You know? Now we got some food books. Ooh, you know, books about food. Food remedies. This was one of my first books, and you can see why. And oh man, just just has so much great information. Look at that. From aging, Alzheimer's, arthritis. And then they also in between there tell you about the different fruits and vegetables along the way. The cabbage family. They talk about cancer. Here they talk about milk. Okay. Flavonoids. Flaxseed. Food allergies. Constipation. Colds. Flu. Coffee. Currants. You know. Um, just almost. Almost anything. You could think of is in here. Like this book a lot. This book my king got for me. It's new. And um I've been through it a little bit. Haven't been through it all the way. But I like it. So far the 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 little bit that, that I have been through it. It's a great look at that. You see that? I mean. Uh, 
So, like, if y'all don't see me make no videos for a while, just know I'm all into it. Because this book I got to get into. Ooh, sides. Look at that. You see that? Delicious. Making me hungry. Let me let me just close this right now because I can't. Mm -mm. Anyway, uh oh, I almost ripped my my book. <laughs> More choices. Eat well, live well. This was like one of my first meal guide books. And when I say first, I mean this book is old, like seven years old. <laughs> Bonds up bean sandwiches. Ooh, that sounds so good. Guilt free burgers. Let's see. Just in case anybody want to get that recipe. Let me zoom out. And you can pause it and screenshot it or write it down. Moving right along. They look good. Oh my gosh. I'm getting hungry going through these books. This don't make no sense. Look at that. Yes. Um, let's see here. Companion planting, the successful gardening. Blah. Companion planting, successful gardening, the organic way. This book was recommended by Jeff Lawton. And I read it about halfway through. And I haven't got back to it yet just because I've been implementing the methods that they've been talking about and they work. So I'm still reading this book. This I got like from Walgreens. It was on like the clearance. This was a while back. Oh my gosh. This book is old, but it was a great guy. It was a great help to me in the time frame that I was using it. And not to say that I can't still use it. This book, I just have to be honest, I haven't even been through it all the way, but this is a great book. Here goes some of the contents. And um, here's a flip through. And it's a great book. I don't know why I haven't really been through it. I think I kind of forgot I had it. Because how to wait and where it was down in my um, my bookshelf. I'm like, you know, I think I forgot. But yeah. I really like these pictures in the back. And I like all the detailed information in this book from what I've seen. And I really got to dive into this. So, like I said, if y'all don't see me for a little bit, I'm really getting in these books and what have you. So, just a little something to give you inspiration, give you an idea. Um, I don't know. But just something so that you can see, you know. And oh yeah, one of my new, newest books, also recommended by Jeff Lawton. So, until the next time.